Oh, Lord. Oh. Well. Well. Things have gone, Silas. Oughtn't you to be on your way? Only a couple hours of town. Won't be gone too long. Hmm. Yeah, but Lord knows how long it'll take you to negotiate with Mr. Harper. You worry too much, Sarah. I expect you look like an old lady real soon. That ain't funny. What's the matter with you? Not just hot. Lights on that truck ain't bright enough to get a ghost back here in the dark. Well, you know me, can't nothing keep me from my girls. Silas? Huh? Can I come to town with you? What boy? Ain't nothing there you ain't got here. No, I want to see what the folks are doing, what they saying. <laughs> they doing and saying like they always do. Leeching off each other. <laughs> Guess that'll do it. I tell you what, I bring you something pretty back from town. Really? Mm, it won't be as pretty as you, but I'll bring you back anyway. Satisfied? Yeah. Don't worry about the light. I see it get dark, I lay over. Like I said, can't nothing keep me from my girl. Bye, Daddy. Don't forget to bring me something. Silas, what you got for me today, huh? Only the best corn this side of Tennessee. Oh, you don't have to convince yeah. me. 
going inside. I'll be with you in a minute. House close. Sorry, mister. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry I don't get it, Silas. Yes, sir. Be more careful. You didn't mean nothing by it, Uncle Travis. You take it up for that, boy? I'll just go inside. And wait there. Till I'm good and ready to deal with you. Don't you ever go against me in front of one of them. You just... You hear me? There's some things you just don't allow these folks. Simple as that, David. Yes, sir. You sure you want to do this? Well, you know I need the money. Oh, I understand, but there's uh, a lot of other ways to make money for law school besides selling door to door. Everybody ain't able. Well, I am. Oh. <laughs> All right, Romeo. See ya. What you looking at in there? Might want to buy one of these rings. <laughs> buy one? For what? For my wife. She likes something like this. Your wife? <laughs> Seems to me she'd like something more useful, Silas. Like one of them washboards over there. I mean, buying her a piece of jewelry? That just don't make no sense to me. Don't have to. What? Sometimes you have to have what you want instead of just what you need. All right, clown. You got an answer for everything today, don't you? No, sir. Just glad I had a good crop this season. And glad you, you and me can do some business together. No, well, we can. As soon as I find my uh, figuring pad. <laughs> water from you? Oh. That sure is a cute little baby you got there. What's her name? Ruth. Ruth, huh? And I'm Sam. Well, pleased to meet you, Sam. I'm David. So you think I could, uh... What? Uh, the water? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, just a minute. The bucket's empty. Gotta go. Oh, no, 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 allow me. I, I wouldn't want to take a little Ruthie from a plant. All right. Now, you be good, little girl. You live out here all, all by yourself? I mean, just you and the baby? 
No, my husband. He's in town. Ooh. When's he getting back? Why you want to know? Well, I just thought maybe I could do a little business with him. I got a lot of nice things for sale. Come over here. Take a look. I can see real good from right here. Thank you. Oh. Now, I really am a salesman. Selling jewelry, lots of other wonderful stuff. What you doing way out here? Ain't none of us got no money. Well, like I said, I'm on my way to Lilydale. But since I stopped, I thought maybe you and your husband might see something you like. And like I said, we ain't got no money. Well, you ain't got to pay to look. All right. All right. Ugh. I'll come to you. <laughs> The nuts and lily down on as hard to crack as you. <laughs> You're not supposed to have heard that. Yeah, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just take a look at this. Look at that. That is 100% genuine, authenticated jewelry. Yeah. Give me a hand. Come on. <laughs> yeah, put that on. What did I tell you? What do you think? Oh. <laughs> That's beautiful. Huh? What do you think of that? God, I think this is the most beautiful thing I ever seen. <laughs> What's wrong? What? What's wrong? This is crazy. What? This dreaming. I ain't got no room for this kind of nonsense. Well, she probably takes after her mama. <laughs> so clock just took her attention. Don't know why. Don't work. Never did. Never did? Uh-uh. Well, how do, how do you tell time? Don't need to tell time. Well, how do you know when to get up in the morning? <laughs> just get up, that's all. Well, how do you know what time it is when you get up? Don't need to know. Sun get up, we get up. Sun go down, we go down. Real simple. And you never use a clock? Uh-uh. Guess there's a lot of things you can get by without when you have to. I'll be right back. Well, I don't think your daddy's going to make it home tonight. Okay, go sleep. This is it. Don't worry about packing that load around back. Bring it on in here. Put it next to that bin over there. Let's see. That's uh, 50 dozen, 25 cents a dozen. That's $12 and 50 cents. Yeah, $12 and 50 cents. You want to take that money? You want me to hold it for you till Christmas? No. As you take this ring out of it. What? And then put it in one of them pretty little boxes. You know, the kind washboards can't fit into. Ain't this something? It's got a clock built right into the graphophone. Into the what? The graphophone. You can have music and time all at once. What's this called? It's called a graphophone. No, the song. Oh. <laughs> Could you believe body and soul? It's kind of fitting, huh? <clears throat> Who are you? 
I, th I thought we already been through all that. Ah, uh, I better check on Ruth. Oh, no, that's plenty. I, I wouldn't want to wake her. Surely it's pretty, though, huh? Yeah, it was. My life. Ain't that something. No. Ain't you something. I, I better go. Thank you. I'm Hello. fine. I brought it out. I'll bring it back in. Fine. Okay. You like to dance? Huh? Yeah. You do? Yeah. <laughs> hey, no. hey, do. Men don't twirl. I, I'm not supposed to twirl. I, I do the twirling. You better go. God. I mean, only... Mm, don't do that. Mission don't get you nothing. Sometimes it's better to just let things be. Sarah.
Is that you, Sides? Uh, yes, me. Decided to trust the more lights anyway. Got lots of stuff. What you doing in bed with your clothes on? Huh? Oh, got so tired from all that heat, couldn't do no better. Uh, Are you all right? Yeah, I guess I must have slept wrong. Oh, this is some pretty cloth. You like it, huh? Uh-huh. That ain't all. Got one more surprise. I didn't want a chance to put it in this basket. Might not have been able to find it amongst all this stuff. <laughs> He showed it to me, then asked for some water and went on. I didn't know he left it. Where'd it come from? I don't know. Was it white? Yeah. This is where he drank from. Uh-huh. Mascar. What's going on here, gal? I, I, I don't know. I, I... Don't you lie to me, Sarah? <laughs> don't you lie to me? It's all right, Lou. All right. Come on. It's okay, Goddamn Nick, if you live with a Don't white man! Why you do this? Ain't he got enough? Why you gotta give him everything? Put the baby down! Put her down! No. Goddamn your black soul to hell! Come here! Come here! No. You'll be back! Trouble. I just, uh, just came for what's mine. But ain't that everything? Everything in the goddamn world is yours. <laughs> came for my graphophone. Yeah, it is. What the hell did you do to it? I broke it. I wrecked it. Just 
just like your kind been doing to me all my life. Sir. God damn it, I never can move you! With my guts out to have my... Come on! I come to find out you've been in my house. Come on! No! Sarah, 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 get in the house! Take the baby and get in the house! I'm the one I'm the one making you feel that long black song. Go in the house! Telling you you ain't nothing. Telling you to hurt somebody, to kill somebody. Don't listen to it. You're too good for that. You're too strong. You a good man. Don't you let us make you less. Don't do it. We need you. We need you. Has he ever gone in there? Huh? Look, you come on me. No, come on. David, come on. Just come on go me. Go on. Go home. Now. You can't stay here. This is my home. Go to yours. little baby <sighs> don't say a word I was gonna buy you a knocking bird It's a mess of reports. State Supervisor Daniel will be making an appearance tomorrow. Yeah, let me get this. Did I hear you playing? 
Yes, yes. I was just working on my chops. And? Still got them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, I see you still got your chops, too. <laughs> What you trying to say? What I'm trying to say? I ain't trying to say nothing. I'm trying to touch. Don't you have some reports to do? Reports? Oh, right, man. I got all caught up in the beautiful things. Oh, wow, reports. Man, those... 30 minutes, dinner. Morning, baby. Good morning. Now I'd like to introduce to you someone you don't see around here very often, but he is a strong supporter of our school, State Supervisor Professor Daniel. You're always right, I don't often get out here, but I just wanted you to know how pleased I am with what's been going on at the only colored school in this county. So pleased that I have convinced the state board to do something we've never done before. Include you all in the state pride competition. <laughs> to be eligible, you must paint or draw a picture of something or someone that makes you feel proud. Like, like Duval here. Stand up, Duval. Now, over the next couple of weeks, your teachers will decide which of your efforts should be displayed at our Pride Day assembly next month. At that time, I will decide which one is the very best. And I'll be here for that. And Professor Daniel will enter it into the state competition. So, do your best, and I'll see you then. Miss McLaren, we got time for one more song? <laughs> you betcha. All right. Duval, let's go look at those reports. You sure you don't want to listen to the choir? Well, you're going to enter the competition, aren't you? I don't know. First, I got to finish what I'm doing for Miss Williams. Miss Williams? What is it, Laura? Ah, uh, nothing. Then turn around and listen to the choir. Yes, ma'am. You're gonna get us some trouble. Her birthday is Monday. Don't you remember? Of course I remember. Mm-hmm. I do. Shh. Told you. That sign says it all. You make my job easy, Duval. I like that. Thank you. In fact, I like a lot of what you're doing around here. Things are in place. I'll take that as a compliment. It is. Hell, the college schools in other counties? Like wild animals. You got things under control here. I see quite a future opening up for you. You just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, yes, I intend to. Well, I guess I'll be on my way. Till the next time, Duval. Till the next time. <laughs> slave he's calling him from the fields or something it's probably just his way baby you shouldn't let it bother you why do you always do that what jump to defend the other side i'm just showing you another way to look at it i don't 
don't need another way to look at it. I need you to be on my side. Well, I can't do that, George, if I don't agree with you. Don't think so. Star, huh? You coming or what? Wait a minute. What you doing? This William's present. Can I come see? Uh-uh. You know I don't let nobody see my drawing before they done. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Besides, it's a surprise. Miss Williams should be the first to see. Too bad. But I'll show you some of my other drawings. Okay. Hey, what about the ice cream? What, Aaron? This. Happy birthday, Miss Williams. Another present? You all are going to spoil me. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I open it now? Yeah. Oh, my. This is amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, it is. What is it? Please, take your seats. Except for you, Aaron. I want you to stand here and tell the class how you came to paint this, this remarkable picture. Well, you see, Monk Skeezits, he's a Garveyite. Yes? And when he came last Christmas, he told me all about black folks in history. Well, go on. Well, he said that black folks were once the most powerful people on Earth. So I asked him about Christ, if maybe he was black. What did he say? Well, he said no one knew for sure. But then all of a sudden, I knew. Knew what, Aaron? That he had to be a black man. Why? Why did he have to be black? Because everyone said he was so kind, kind of not ever seen any white people be. So when I painted this picture, I couldn't help but paint Christ black, because that's what makes sense to me. Thank you, Aaron. You may return to your seat. This is a most welcome present. Now, many of you have asked me what you should do for Pride Day, and I think Aaron just gave us a good example. Do something, say something that you believe in because it makes sense to you, because it makes sense to your heart. Now, don't you think that this is something we should submit for Pride Day? Yeah. 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 I'm going to give this to Mr. Duvall right now, and I'm going to get a knife to cut this scrumptious looking cake, and then I'm going to open up all my presents. <laughs> Right back. Oh, well, well. Will Miss Price see me? Yes, I am. Is this a bad time? I was nearby. No, no, no. I was just working on the flowers over there. Good, good. Let's hear me talk. Now, you remember me mentioning the future for you? Yes. Well, it looks like that future is now. I don't understand. The board wants to move you up to the state level. Ain't that something? <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Uh, what do they want to move me up to do? Actually, take over part of my job. Have the colored schools in this county. Get them under control, keeping in line like you do here. What do you say? Oh, I am. I'm shocked. I know, shocked me too. I never thought they'd give a colored person a position like that. <laughs> please, please. Thank you. Of course, it would mean a, a move, but it would also mean a uh, raise in pay. Oh, well, my wife would surely love that. 
So can I can I have your uh, decision, say, in a couple of weeks at the Pride Assembly? Uh, I guess so. I, I mean, uh, nice. yes. yes. Good, yes. good, good enough. In the meantime, I'll get more details to you. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, oh my God. What? What is this? I don't know. You don't know? It looks like a goddamn colored crass to me. Oh, no, no, no. Look, Duval, this is just... This is the kind of foolishness that we wanted out of the colored schools that I thought that you had gotten out of this school. Who did this? Sir, I don't know, but I assure you I will find out. Yeah, well, you better find out and quit before I see you again, before you even think about giving me your answer. Uh, yes, sir. Excuse oh, me. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Duvall. Uh, What's wrong with him? Uh, uh, What's wrong with you? I know, Miss Williams. I have a lot on my mind. This won't take much time. I just want to know, what do you think of Aaron's painting? What? Aaron's painting, what do you think? Look, get that thing out of here. You'll forgive my frankness, Mr. Duvall, but I can't believe you mean what you just said. Well, I do mean what I just said. Now get that thing out of here. I'll do nothing of the kind. Ms. As a member of this faculty, I am officially submitting this painting for the Pride Day display. It is clearly something to be proud of, and Aaron is someone to be proud of. Ms. Williams, I am proud of the boy, but this painting cannot be a part of the Pride Day assembly. Why not? Miss Williams, I don't have to answer to you. No, you don't have to answer to me, Mr. Duvall, but you do have to answer to Aaron. Now, what the hell is that supposed to mean? It means I'm not. I don't know how to explain to him why his painting that shows so much pride won't be recognized on Pride Day, especially after I told him it would. Miss Williams, you don't have to explain a thing. Just have the boy submit something else he can make over the next couple of weeks. I will not. Miss Williams, surely this cannot be his only effort. No, Mr. Duvall. It isn't his only effort. But as you say, it is his best. Thank you, Mrs. Crawford. Well, come on, Laura. See you tomorrow, Aaron. Maybe. Did Miss Williams like your present? I think she liked it a lot. What do you mean, she liked it a lot? Oh, Laura was just telling me how mad Mrs. Duvall got when Miss Williams showed it to her. Well, you can't expect everybody to like what you do. Why not? Aaron Crawford, I do believe you're getting a big head. I am? <laughs> Never mind. Come on, wash up and set the table. Yeah, okay. What'd you say? I mean, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Damn! What's wrong, George? You all right? Do I look all right? There's a kid in school. His name is Aaron Crawford. It's Williams' class. He painted a, a picture of Christ. So? He painted a black Christ. He what? Exactly. Miss Williams wants me to enter into the Pride Day Assembly. Well, you know you can't do that, right? Yes, yes, I know, I know. But... But what? But I'm not sure I did the right thing. Elder, the boy is only eight years old, and he already knows what he thinks, already knows who he is. I am... George. You know, he offered me a job today. Who? His Highness Supervisor Daniel. Offered me a job, moved up to the state level. 
working underneath him, looking after all the colored people he doesn't want to have to deal with, keeping them in line. So what'd you say? I told him I would think about it. Think about what, George? <laughs> no. No, George. George. You're not thinking about... You haven't forgotten how we used to live, what it was like, have you? Scraping pennies, no car, no house. Now, when you put that horn down, you told me, you promised me that we were going to do this together. It was a deal. George! George! Still can't take you, can you? I still can't take you shutting me out. I still can't take you making yourself crazy and making me crazy every time you pick up that horn. Every time I pick up this horn, I feel who I am. Look, I, I don't have to pretend. Not for no job, not for no house, not for... No wife. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Falling into some type of deep hole. You don't have to. Just hold on to me. Hold on to us. Still doing here. School's been over for at least an hour. I want to talk to you. Sure, sure. Come on in, son. What can I do for you? Why you don't like me? I do like you, Aaron. What would have ever given you that impression that I didn't? It's the only reason I can think of why you don't like my painting when everybody else does. Aaron, I like your painting. That's not what Laura said. <sighs> she heard you tell Miss Williams to get that thing out of here. No, no, that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about something else. I like your painting. Really. Then is it going to be a part of Pride Day? No, son. It's not good enough. No, no, that's not it. Aaron, it's just that the painting... What? It's very complicated. You wouldn't understand. That's what grown-ups always say when they don't want to tell kids the truth. Aaron... That's okay. I like my painting. Aaron... Balance things off a bit. Yeah. Beautiful. I don't see Aaron's painting. Well, did you expect to? Yes. You kept it, and I thought you might have reconsidered. Oh, my, look at that. We only have five minutes before the assembly starts. I'm sorry, Miss Williams. I don't have time for one of your debates. Besides, the case is closed. New ball. Thought I might catch you in the office. 
No, no, I just had a couple more things to finish before the assembly starts. Can we talk afterwards? Yes, yes. Good, good. Uh, everything looks fine. Much better than what I saw the other day. Well, is everybody ready? Yes! All right, Mr. McLaren, how are you? Ready as we'll ever be. Okay, well, <clears throat> good. Let's open the doors. I'd like to welcome you to our annual Pride Day celebration. As you all know, this year, we will not only be participating in our own Pride Day, but we will also participate in the state Pride competition. But before I reveal my decision as to which entry will represent us at the state level, I want to introduce you to the man that made our participation possible, State Supervisor Professor Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll make it short here. I am just so proud of you all for what you've done, for what I know that you will continue to do in the future. Keep up the good work. And led by Duval here. I got a feeling you will. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please continue your applause for all the students who have contributed to our wonderful display of pride. And now, now to unveil the piece that will represent us at the state pride competition. I give you the reunion, 1865. Now this piece, this piece is a jubilant representation of the fact that all our people, no matter what separates us, must embrace one another, must take pride in one another, and become as one. The reunion. 1865, a strong and clear representation of pride. As is. As is. Duval. Our tying entry into the state competition. Christ painted black. Now, this piece, this piece challenges us. It challenges us to embrace our individual selves and to make sure that we see ourselves reflected in everything that we do and everything that we believe in. Because only then can we truly be our best. 
And why not Christ painted black? Other artists of other races have painted pictures of their gods and whomsoever they worship to represent and reflect themselves. I see no reason why we should be immune to such a wonderful privilege. Will the two students who have created these extraordinary pieces please come forward? Cora Jones for The Reunion, 1865. And Aaron Crawford for Christ, painted black. No need for us to talk now, Duval. No need at all, Daniel. I mean, that's cool. Well, yeah, because friends call everybody lady. What's happening, my man? What it is? Tell me something. What's going on? I dig. Now's the time. It's above my high school curriculum, but I dig it. That's too hip for the people, man. Now that is. That's where it was. Righteous. Sunday crowds or something, I mean. Yep. <laughs> but then you know how colored folks are, don't you? No, Willie, how are they? Ready. Any time, any place for any day. You know why they clap, don't you? Why? Because they show whatever you do and they can do better. So they clap because you got lucky. You got lucky? Yeah, they didn't have to show you where it's really at. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we are ready. Thanks, Cap. So, uh, we okay now, baby? No. You know, sometimes, and work my last nerve. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what the squares say. Mm -mm. Ain't nothing about me square, baby. Except for that metal plate. What? In your head. <laughs> Why you got to be charming me like this? Why not? I'm supposed to be your friend. It's time to go. Can't start without you, you know? Yeah, I'm hip. Your drink will be waiting for you. With that all these chicken in all right, y'all, let's shake them girdles loose. and a looker, Miss Philomena Jenkins. Oh, and a trumpet. None other than me, myself, and I, the leader of this here band, Cal Callen. Philomena. Philomena. Philomena, you okay? Yeah. We're gonna do this now. Here we go.
Now that was hot. You sure you're okay? No. Well, why don't you go get some of the mellow side from with him? We got a couple. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to do uh, one of my favorites, and I hope it's one of yours. Willie. Hmm? Willie. What is it? Where'd she go? Who are you talking about, Mimi? You know, Beth Ann, she was sitting right over there. What? You mean that white woman? She left without paying for these drinks? I can't believe it. Here's your usual meaning. Eyes with eyes. Philomena Jenkins. Oh, so you remember my name. Back then, I was just Philomena, your maid. Washing your dirty drawers, picking up after your drunken mama, shaking the farts out your sheets. Philomena, please. Am I being crude? You're right. How's this? Miss Baker. Miss Beth Ann Baker. <laughs> you remember me, Miss Jenkins? In fact, your mother said that my mother was a jam and that my father was a treasure. And I used to laugh because your mother drank so much whiskey. But then my mama said, judge not lest ye be judged. But then I found out that your father had three children down in the colored part of town and they all look like a darker you, only prettier. This is ridiculous. Go of me. Not till I'm finished. And all I was ever going to be was you and your mama's silent flunk. See? See how all these people, even you, Miss Beth Ann Baker, are looking at, looking at me, listening to me. Go. And what the hell are you doing with a black man? Well... It's different now. <laughs> There's nothing different, Beth Ann. You are just the same as your parents, who, may I add, will still be there for you after you get through with your Negro man. You will still have everything. 
Why are you doing this? Because you and your parents hurt me bad. I am still aching from the hurt that Baker, Georgia, and your family put on me. <laughs> well, that was a long time ago. Not long enough. You haven't touched your drink. Is there something wrong with you? No. No, it's fine. Remember me? I asked Willa to wait for me in the car. I wanted to talk to you alone. I told Willa that you and I grew up in the same town. <laughs> I'm engaged to Willa, and we're very happy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bartender, may I have a bourbon and water, please? Willa teaches high school here on the south side. I met him in Canada two years ago. You know, I, I just wanted to talk. Talk to somebody who knew me, knew Baker. When's the last time you were home, Philomena? My parents don't understand either. They say I'm with Willard to spite them. They, they hate him. They say if I marry him, they'll disown me. Mother said, she said if she had dreamed when I was a baby that I'd grow up to marry a, nig a Negro man, she'd have choked me to death on her breast. That's a cruel thing for a mother to say. Yeah, I told her so. As it is, she doesn't want me to have a set foot in Baker again. Why? Why? Why what? Why are you telling me all this? Well, I, I just thought that we could talk. so wonderful. He takes care of everything, including me. That's why he can't understand why my parents are so upset. Well, he doesn't understand, and neither do I. Yeah, I just... I just wanted to talk to somebody who knew me. Who knew Baker. I don't see any of my friends anymore. You understand, Philomena. My parents gave me everything. Willard is the first thing that I ever got for myself, and I'm not going to give him up. He's mine. He belongs to me.
I really enjoyed seeing you again, Philomena. We're talking about old times. Now, I live in New York, but I come to Chicago every other weekend. Say, how about you coming to our wedding? Now, we haven't set a date yet, but it's going to be here, in a colored church somewhere. Oh, please come. Goodbye, Beth Ann. And when you see your parents, you tell them for me, I said, go to hell. And take you along with them, just for company. But, tell me. Oh, by the way, these tears, don't be fooled. They aren't for me. Not anymore. <laughs>